Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Oakland Golden Grizzlies and the Florida State Seminoles. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Seminoles are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second of all, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Top of the circle, way off target. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. That was absolutely phenomenal. Goes up for two. And the ball goes out of play. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Looking for a good shot with a deep shot from outside. Great shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Fakes the jumper for two. Perfectly executed. Number 23 is emotionally fired up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. He attempts the three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. They'll work it around the arc, trying to feed the low block. There's a double team waiting there. Tightly guarded. Up and inside. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. The point guard receives the ball. He makes a nice shot fake. There's the trap. Look at that spacing. He dials long distance. Way off target. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. For the bucket, and in and out. Number 44 is pounded on his way up. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. The Seminoles have a player spotting up on the three. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. From three-point territory, it sticks. Down inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Contact causes the shot to come off. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. 
and run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Doesn't go. He fires away. Off the rim and no good. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. The power forward handles the feed. And he'll kick it back outside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Number 20 handles the pass. Here's the three ball. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They're working around the perimeter. High post screen, gonna use it. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point lane. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Outside jumper. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Goes for the deep one. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Coming inside. In the paint. Tries for two. Tickles a twine. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Here's the screen up on top. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. I ain't backing down. Is this cry? He goes to the line for the first time. He got it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number three receives the pass. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble. Gives it up. Goes up for two. In and out. They go into the low block. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Now trying to feed the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the outside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Strong rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Number 
41. Picks up the foul. Third team foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Number 12 goes to the charity strike for two. Makes the first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Push that basketball, help one another, communicate. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Moving it around the perimeter. For two, basket falls despite the contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of bounds. post player flashing the skip pass is picked off gave it up problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you gotta get help because you gotta see more oh, man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting they've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line boy terrible execution on offense the dribble gives it up looks at the three way off target swatted from behind never saw him coming Brad He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident in going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. Control of the ball. High post flashes. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. team now bad angle for the bucket the Seminoles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment that he's on fire passed on the guy in the post to go the other way they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works off the rim and no good. Tries to get the D to bite. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Seminoles are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He hits the first shot. Both free throws go. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Tries for two. They still don't score. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nice low post play, good entry to the box. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first. Misses the second shot. They work it around the perimeter. Unloads. Way off target. Out of play. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And off the mark. Basic. For two. And he missed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's seven on answer. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Let's it fly. Way off target. They work the perimeter. Has a nice look at the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Takes away the pass. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. the circle they work it around the perimeter get that sucker out of the game man he's wasting no time getting it up the floor sinks the shot that one's definitely worth the second look brad
great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Looking for a good shot. He launches a three. Way off target. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Kicks it out. He's got an open look for the shot. The Seminoles have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble. Gives it up. For two. Up. Easy one. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. the outside what a great steal defensive player was really right on top of that basketball trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing number 25 hump fakes the game is changing Brad these days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Look at that spacing. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. Takes the shot, way off target. He missed on the steal, that's gonna be the offense's game. Yes, sir, they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Here's a flash from the post up high. Up and inside. He up fakes. He intercepts it. Opportunity for two for one. He's open if he wants the shot. The post flashes up high if he wants it. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. They don't seem to be getting any decent shot opportunities, Dick. Because they're looking in the wrong places, Brad. the turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move and back they come the other way jumps in contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire I love that block shot Brad really gives you a lot of momentum he rips the nets for another score he's absolutely unconscious at the end of the first half the Golden Grizzlies trail by 13 We've had a good one so far, Dick. What play stands out for you in the first half? Watch here. Pounding the ball inside like you see. In this highlight, we'll take a lot out of a team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. 
Number three is all business in that first half, partner. Man, he won his A game tonight. The opposing coach better come up with a plan B, man. They haven't been able to contain him. It might end up being a very long night for them. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. It's stolen. It's a fast break possibility. Gets it to fall. They'll work it around the arc. The shooting guard takes the pass. Shoots it. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Pump fakes. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? They're working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 20 draws the personal. He is going to the line. He misses his first shot. He misses the second shot. He grabs the rebound. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Can't get the shot to go. The shooting guard with the ball. From left of the circle. The friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Tries for two, and he missed. For the deuce, Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. On the dribble, gives it up. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He's a human spaceship. He's all out of space, Mr. Nestle. Can you believe it? As the chance persists. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. He throws up the shot. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. He intercepts it. Number 23 has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. I hate to see a young man struggle like this. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They're just having a devil of a time getting good looks at the hole. That's right, Brad. I haven't seen a whole lot of plays carried out and executed the way they should be. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Dumps it in. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Put it 101 and how to explode to the goal. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Look at that, that's unbelievable, baby. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Braw Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front him. The center takes the feed, trying to draw the foul. Blocks the shot. Look 
going to move it around the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Number 41 comes up with it. For two, they still don't score. There's the fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Counts getting high. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. And now the fadeaway jumper. It's no good. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The center gets the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. Working it around the perimeter. He looks for three. That was nice. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Number 23 is whistled for the foul. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Takes away the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Gave it up. Number three. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this, and players are starting to talk one another. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. They work the perimeter. For the bucket, and he misses the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? All right, thanks, Aaron. Hits his second. Third shot, good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Goes in. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He wants a three. Can't seem to find the stroke from the arc, Dick. And they're missing wide open looks too, Brad. Looking for a good shot. They're working around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Takes the shot. He can't get the bucket to fall. On the outside. Picked off. Number 42 is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. Hey, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's going to step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. Number 33 looks to record his first miss. He provides nice push offensively and defensively for this bunch. Sinks it. Wide, short, long, doesn't matter, doesn't go. Florida State joined the ACC in 1991, and Dick, they did it with a bang. They sure did, Brad. They did well out of the gate, but have been one of the weaker ACC teams recently. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. The Seminoles have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? The kick out. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes the shot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. And in and out. Great shot. Kick it back outside. He shoots from the elbow. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He gives him the fake. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Way off target. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Coming inside. He goes for three. The Seminoles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Oh. 
with the jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. They're working around the arc. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land from left of the circle. Rims out. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Great defense. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Doesn't go. on the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Shoots off the rim and no good. He shoots from left of the circle. He drills the long-range bomb. Gave it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. The land. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the angle. Bounces off. Gave it up. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Picks off the pass. Pump fakes. He's got a high post flasher. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. He shoots from left of the circle. Rims out. Basic. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Can't get the shot to go. Oakland are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Intercepted. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate, too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. No doubt. Time out. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in a moment. We're 
about ready to hit the floor. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. the pass. Pass down low. There was a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. For the deuce. He's money with a shot. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart now the high screen he dials long distance off the rim and no good they can't seem to put the three ball in against this zone and they're forced to shoot the three brad because the lane is not open tries for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is that bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, it just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Nice high post screen. For two. Rims out. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Green away for the bucket up for the lay-in. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. He intercepts it, pushes it. For the deuce, the land. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. There they come with a double team to stop it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta. He comes up empty. On the outside. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, dude. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. I mean, they're in a groove. That court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, 
you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Gets the second shot. They can make it very interesting with a score here. seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. He launches a three. They have the foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, good. Timeout. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Off the rim and no good. And yet another foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Makes it. Like in practice. The basket here will make this a two-possession game. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Here's the three ball. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear starting from here. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, what this game rather than look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Oakland opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.